Hey, I keep up with Freak Labs here. This is a quick video on uh, some of the ATX Mega test code that I wrote. This is just going to be doing a memory test at two different clock speeds. So one of the interesting features about the ATX Mega is that it has a configurable PLL, and so you can change the clock speed on the fly. So I'm going to be doing a memory test at two different clock speeds. So one of them is at 2 MHz, the other one is at 32 MHz. I wrote a small function that uh, toggles the PLL between 2 MHz and 32 MHz, and to call it, you just type PLL. So right now it's at the 32 MHz, I'm going to set it back to 2 MHz, and then I'm going to do a memory test. So the memory test uh, tests the 32 kilobytes of external SRAM, and it's a brute force memory test, so I'm going to generate uh, random numbers and write them into each address in the external memory. Then I'm going to regenerate the same sequence and read back the memory and uh, check to make sure that it's all, uh, it's all correct. So to do the memory test, just type memtest. And you'll see that it's at 2 MHz, uh, it's a bit slow because uh, you're generating 32,000 random numbers. And uh, the generation of the random numbers takes a bit of time. So it takes a lot of uh, it takes a lot of operations, and it's uh, especially at two megahertz, it it's pretty slow. So now we're uh, doing the checking. So it's reading back the values and generating the random numbers, and uh, checking them against each other. Uncomfortable silence. Uncomfortable silence. Okay, so it's finished. Now we're going to do the same test. We're going to uh, switch the clock speed up to 32 megahertz. So you'll see that uh, 32 megahertz, it's much faster, much faster. And that's just an example of why it's nice to have uh, configurable clock speeds. When you have a lot of uh, computational processing that's needed, then uh, you can actually change the clock speed on the, on the fly, do the processing, and then go back to 2 megahertz where you'll consume uh, less power.